Are you ready, kids? Let's play some music. Oh my gosh, where is it? Uh. Yes. All right, stop, 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 stop. Here, there we go. Okay, the problem with my sound effects machine is it doesn't have a stop button. I have to hit another button <laughs> in order for it to stop. I'm Keith Evans with Up Hero. It is day one, video one of rank with me let's do it let's get right into it d d d d do we got to shrink this giant head down press the right button we are going to work on a laundromat so definitely focusing on near me searches going to try to broaden this search uh expand all their services here is wishy-washy laundromat uh down in boise let's just uh, get right into it shall we i don't mind so much having um the text and information up at the top um we really don't need these buttons off to facebook right we want to keep people on the page certainly people may want a phone number or they may want directions so it looks like we do have those links to the google places which is fine uh one thing you'll note though is holy crap there are no pages <laughs> right let's go all the way down to the footer is there a site map uh no we have one two three four five six pages if we go look at um we go look oh my gosh this is terrible this is it this is their website they've got the about page duplicated contact pages duplicated they have some uh, location pages and sadly when we go look at um this one do, 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 do. do we need some little music no let's just not let's just not go up there for now welcome to homedale okay we got pricing is this the right oh wait wrong one i want to go to shady lane sorry coming soon okay you can contact us right um yikes giant waste right from a technical point of view you really need terms in um a privacy page that's definitely important um we need a lot more content and so let's just go back to the home page and take a look at what's going on really the messaging is just off um you take a look at this and you're thinking idaho's best full service laundromat that it doesn't really mean anything right um it does talk about ozone sanitation okay what exactly is that right where's my call to action give me a reason where is the sales value proposition right laundromats are extremely competitive they're everywhere right and sometimes they can even have a bad reputation really this needs to come off as it's clean it's bright it's awesome we're different and that's what that hero what we need to have here is we're different and here's why right you've really got to have that strong um, compelling information we go right into the about us i don't care for that right because i as a consumer i have a problem right <laughs> i need i need a place to wash my laundry so what do you think is on my mind cost right and number two hours where are you are you open right another thing that would come up too is let's say you have a giant comforter or you have a bunch of bedding you wanted to, to get done can this particular place serve you right um we talked a little bit about it about you know being clean and bright and you know security systems and is it safe right so this is something that i try to avoid as some of the first messaging within a website right um i would even try to break this down too on that paragraph side we can assume that that photo is of the store uh it would be much better if i had a directions right list your hours so this is good now it's going to get into the approach right like the why why are we better why are we different uh, we talk about dryers. Uh, okay, if you have a challenge, da, 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 spin both ways, speed drying. Okay, that's good to know, uh, but is it really better? Okay, this is what we do differently. Let's really caref carefully examine this. I'll let, you, I'll let you read this paragraph right here, okay? So let me, um, just, let's see here, do we have, uh, here we go. Let's, let's Whoa, no, it's, uh, that's all right. You guys can pause it and read it. We won't waste any time. There's nothing in here that's truly state of the art. It's nice to know that if a machine breaks down that they have a full electronic system and they can take care of you right away. Um, it's, let's see, does it mention anything about someone is on site at this one? Uh, no, let's get my handy dandy little marker here. This has some really awesome information. The Santa wash, cleanest laundry, you can kind of read this here sanitize brighter colors kills bacteria holy cow bah, 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 bah. this is what we should really be focusing on right the uniqueness the benefit it's in a photo so we would definitely would want to expand that one thing you want to do too just to really you know the whole goal for you as a business owner is you want more sales right you want people to come to your site and take action right do you really want them to learn more i think it's going to depend right it's like hey this is why we're different and this is what i want you to do 
Do you have a special offer? Is there something that you can take action now and I can get that conversion? I would put some of these in bullets too that will definitely help set, set things apart. That's a great photo. It's nice to have these reviews. Um, I don't always care for the swiping action. Um, I love to see people show me smiling faces in the review. That's always important because I, as a consumer, right, I'm going to be looking at this and I'm going to say, hey, I'm just like Judy. Judy was frustrated, you know, with not getting her comforter cleaned. And now she went to the wishy-washy and now she's happy. I want to be happy too, right? Remember, you got to focus on the consumer and what they want and their needs. Call us for laundry service. Do I really need to call you? You know, maybe if I have questions. Uh, lots of challenges here for sure. Let's go take a look <laughs> at the technical, shall we? I pulled out um, some information already. I used um, this free item called um, SEO Meta in one click. You can use it too. It's just an extension right on Chrome and it'll pull out this information. So this is the title. Oh my gosh, we need a sound effect for this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because that is a big, big, big yowzer. <laughs> it's not good at all. You don't need this, okay? This got to go bye-bye. Beep, bye-bye. Um, what do we really need to say? We need to say Boise Laundromat, right? Uh, Kicking ass, taking names, right? The why, right? The why are you different? Why are you better? Um, I'll certainly in future videos, we'll go over the actual changes I made. This is a little of the, the pre, right? But if you are already an experienced SEO, you know, you're going to have to have the city. And you're going to have to have the main um, item, the main keyword of what you are. Uh, within this situation, you definitely probably want to focus on uh, laundry services, right? And we'll get into that. Now, this is also a very uh, con contentious uh, challenge. A lot of people say, well, there's no description. Is that a really big deal? I'm going to show you actually that having a description is going to benefit you and it's really going to benefit from the um, CTR and getting the clicks off of the SERP. So that'll be a future video coming up. That's something that I would definitely address. Now, if you followed me in the past, you know that I'll always tell you that your title and your H1 should be very similar, right? You can kind of flip flop them. Oh my gosh, we are dealing with an idiot web designer that doesn't understand SEO. This website is from a radio station. Cumulus Radio. Oh my gosh, you suck, okay? You don't do this. <laughs> you don't make a sentence and break it down with your H1 and H2. Eh, 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 eh. No, 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 no. You do not do that. This needs to be just one main value proposition, right? And what else? First of all, it's not even like compelling. It's so generic. We're the best full service with ozone sanitation. Uh, so what, right? That's really what people are going to think. First of all, we have to have the word Boise in there because that's where they want to rank. You could even have a secondary city that would also help you. And then you're going to want to repeat Boise again um, down in an H2. But if you look at this, none of these, except for this, this is the only one as an entity, and I'll explain that in a future video, that that's the only thing that really makes sense that's related to a, la to a laundromat, right? What about washing, drying, cleaning, coin, coin operated, self-service, pickup, delivery, uh, <laughs> what else? Whoa. commercial laundry, right? There's a variety of more keywords that are related, all those nouns, right? All those nouns that are related to a laundry service and a laundromat. So this all has to be fixed. This, this is fine. Quick links. Holy crap. So you're telling me... <laughs> You're telling me, Mr. Radio Station Web Design Team, that you guys decided to put an H2. <laughs> oh, I have, I have a special button for this. Fucking A. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have the F button. That is not good. That's not good at all. There's one good thing I do like about this, which is this ratio right here. What I mean is, you really should likely have one H1. Um, in a future episode, I'll kind of go over more in-depth on page, but this is pretty normal. In a more competitive market, you might have two of these, but then look at this ratio. There's one H1 and one H2, or eight of the H2 headlines. That's a good ratio, eight to one. I don't really care about these other smaller subheadlines, but where they totally screwed up is, these are the wrong words, <laughs> wrong words related to laundry. So we'll go in, we'll fix it, it's gonna be awesome. Let's go take a look at um, just a quick overview in SEM Rush. Let's 
with the zip over here. So 381 organic search traffic, 33 domains. I like the, the referring domain. I don't care so much about the total backlinks. It's nice to see that they have been growing. This is a, over two years. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This is the classic SEO sign graph, right? You take a look at this uh, from the analytical point of view. You release a new website. It goes, hey, you're really awesome. And then the users come onto the site and say, uh-uh, this website is not satisfying me, right? And then it drops. The good news is the brand itself is growing and we go look at their reviews and the other things they're doing. That's where there's some, that's the good thing that's happening with, with this laundry map. Let's go take a look at organic keywords because it's nice to see what are they actually ranking for. So of course we expect that they rank um, for their brand name. That's, that's a big duh. And I, I like to also use this column here in SEM rush called traffic because you really want to see what are they known for? It's not necessarily what they're missing out, but where are they getting um, opportunities? The other thing uh, we can do, first of all, let me just go in here uh, to advanced filter. I'm going to exclude um, anything that says wishy. That's their brand, wishy-washy. I don't care about that. If you're, if you're a business, you should already be ranking for your brand. That's extremely important. Looks like on average, the homepage, we have a looks that's probably the GMB page that's triggering in the SEM rush data. Let's just go also look at volume because now you want to explain to the customer where is their opportunities at, right? This is the actual name of the RV park. So people do search that. That is another brand, uh, blah, 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 coin laundry. So holy crap. So, oh my gosh, alarm bells, alarm bells. This is a, let me just mark it here on the screen. That's a big one. 320 searches a month on average, pretty easy. They're way back on page seven, wah, wah, wah. but whoa. Oh, the about page is back there. So the homepage is on number nine, uh, but not on the map at least. So we need to definitely get that. Let's take a look and just go down the list. What I'm really looking for is anything that's unique about them, right? There's nothing that's super standing out. There's lots of brand names. Some of these other cities, they're just, they don't, they don't make sense in this data, right? And here's the other reality. You, you really only want to focus on probably right here, the top 20, right? This is where the money's at. This is what they're really known for. This is interesting. That's a suburb farther away. So that just goes to show you that, hey, Mr. Customer, if you opened another laundromat in this city, you could probably do really well because your brand is strong. But where you're sucking is wah, 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 the website. It's not working. And guess what else? They're, they got to whisper, whisper to you. They're paying $300 a month for this POS. Yeah, I can't believe it. No. Oh, no. I screwed up my camera. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. Now it's just going to be fuzzy the whole time, I think. So let me show you a little trick. You can, uh, when, you know, when it comes to ranking the map portion, right, of your brand, uh, it's important to you probably seeing all the little green circles and the red circles and all the rankings, you know, drop it a mobile phone. But there's actually a little free product from Google you could use, and I use it from time to time. It's actually AdWords. Yes, go into your AdWords program and go into the ad preview and diagnosis, and you just pop in, do, 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 laundromat near me. Now, this is zip code, I happen to know, um, that's a zip code that's a little bit further south of them. It's competitive because the university is there. There's lots of, we have lots of, um, competitors down on uh, Broadway Street here. So let's look at their exact zip code. And I just type it in. B -de 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 -do -do. Oh, check it. Let's just zoom in a little bit for you kitties. I'm on a mobile phone. I'm searching English. And it's live right now. Right now. Live right now. This is the activity and this is the ranking. Um, it's good to see that they're number two, but man, look at the competition. Breeze Better Laundry. So that is a strong brand uh, across the valley. That's definitely something that this laundromat owner is going to want to try to beat them, right? So that's going to be the main goal. Uh, let's just type in, uh, actually, let's just stay with this laundromat near me, because that's by far. Let's just go about a mile northwest of them. See how that is. Okay, so there's Breeze. Okay, remember what I mentioned, get the, fu get the funk out? There's washing time. Ooh. 
They do show up on the map portion if you notice that, but they are not in the true three pack. And there's Breeze, there's Rave, there's Breeze locations, there's Washington Time, Bottle Drive. Okay, so here we are. I don't know what number that is, seven, eight maybe, it's, but it's not good at all. Uh, let's just go commercial. This is what people search. Again, look at how the map rankings, many times it's getting influenced from organic, right? This is another big thing too. People want to know um, cost of coin laundry. And let's actually use their dedicated zip code, 83702. People want to know price. And a little trick, a little secret for you, if you actually have pricing listed and a dedicated page, and it's type, you know, let's say uh, cost of coin laundry, and we'll actually type in Boise, or if Google knows you're on a phone and you're searching, guess what they're gonna do? They will show those local sites. So here's a perfect example. The competitor has Breeze Laundry in first position here. Washington Time, they list price, Rave, Breeze, Reddit. Uh, oh, there you go, cost of coin laundry, laundromat Boise. So this is very common. Um, type of search and we need to take advantage of that. This is something you can certainly show the customers um, without paying any money and it really shows you know exactly how people think when it comes to mobile searches. The bottom line is um, when it comes to the technical that's not going on here, um, things they're, they're missing out on, right? Uh, looking at you know poor pages, they, they expand a little bit into this sanitation system, but why is it buried on the about us page, right? Uh, and I think, I think if you go over to downtown, this is their prime, this is, this is their laundromat that's losing money, right? It needs to grow. It's just, it, it, it's, it's just not good. It, it could be way, way better. And all that SEO can be improved upon. Contact page. Let's just take a look at it. Come on, baby. Real basic, simple. Do you really need this kind of information, right? Like, it, 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 there's got to be sales, there's got to be specials, there has to be other ways to really get the electronic customer to want to shop at your location. That's going to be uh, the main focus. So basically that's it. I would send something just like this, about maybe 15 minutes long, uh, saying the same things and communicating directly to the customer about what's wrong with their SEO and how they need to improve it. Because that's what they want. They want sales, they want these clicks, they want these conversions. And it's definitely, it's definitely possible, but they're gonna need a new site. It has to be revamped. So I appreciate your time. Stay tuned. It's day one. You ready to rank with me and see what happens? Let's do it, baby, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, I got my beastie boy.